Hello YouTube, hope you're all doing well. Um, in this video, I'd like to share with you a very, very useful tip. Um, and that's for everyone who does YouTube videos. Okay, like me, I have this video exported that I've just finished with Final Cut Pro. It's 2 minutes 30 seconds long. And it's an .mov file. The quality is great. But if you take a look at the size, 3.7 gigabytes, uh, that's a bit too large. So my internet connection is, let's say, horrible. It's only 1.1 uh, megabytes per second upload. So if I do the math correctly, it takes 10.27 hours to upload, so half a day. But there's a little tool that can help you decrease dramatically the file size. It's called iSquint, and yes, you can download it by clicking the link in the description. So you simply drag the file here and adjust the settings. You click Optimize for TV. Um, you can decide between high quality and go nuts. Um, this just means it's very high quality but the file size is still very small. Yesterday I converted a .mov file that was about 300 megabytes large. I converted it with H.264 quality go nuts and with advanced settings enabled I dropped down to 8 megabytes with uh, keeping the same quality. So you just type in the size um, of the video itself, it's 1080p. The video bitrate can vary. I just usually use 512 kilobits per second and frame rate is 30 FPS. Audio bitrate is normally 320 kilobits per second if it's really high quality audio. Audio Hertz original can keep this. You can check deinterlace. If your video is not deinterlaced, that means your camera records, let's say, 1080i, and you always have this um, little bars in the video. By checking this, you can remove this. I don't need to because this video is a screen recording. So I want to save this on my desktop. I choose this and I click start. And this takes a while, but it's really useful. So I let this finish and be back in a sec. So this was done after about 13 minutes and okay it just really uses the CPU. My Mac Mini only has a 2 gigahertz dual core CPU so you might only be able to do some web browsing nothing CPU intensive but it got the uh, job done, you just click OK and you can quit iSquint. Now remember clip grab the uh, video before the .mov file was 3.7 gigabytes large and now let's take a look at the mp4 file 14 megabytes that's really nothing. So if I do this correctly 14 megabytes divided by 0.1 megabytes per second takes only 140 seconds, technically, or a bit more than two minutes. And so you saved yourself a couple hours. Keep that in mind. It would take over 10 hours with the .mov file, in my case, and only a bit more than two minutes with the .mp4 file by keeping the same quality. Keep that in mind. Same quality, but you have to wait way, way less. So I hope I could help you. And if this video helped you, give this a thumbs up. And of course, you can download IceWind um, by clicking on the first link in the description. And yeah, see you next time.